What's going on guys, your boy Devontae Harris here and I wanted to bring you this video because I am having problems and I know you guys are having those exact same problems and I'm going to show you how to fix that. Once again, it is Devontae Harris here from Primary Print Co and I'm going to show you today how to do a reverse head cleaning on your DTG printer. Let's go! So guys, uh, this is just a quick little video. I wanted to do this uh, reverse head flush for you guys to show you uh, what you can do to unclog your white lines. The color ones are always fine, okay? But the white lines cause the main problem. Sometimes that white is just not spraying out correctly and that could be because you're using the Gamut Plus white ink. That Gamut Plus white ink, it does cause clogging issues if you're a free jet owner. I'm gonna be very honest and very transparent in this video and I am going to show you how to unclog it. So we're gonna do a nice pre-treat spray on the shirt. It's not the pre-treat, okay? We're gonna do a nice solid white image and I'm gonna show you how it's coming out. It should be spraying kind of minute. You know that white should be super fucking solid. And then we're gonna do the reverse head flush and that's gonna show you that nice output. So that output is, I'm sorry. So if your white ink is not spraying like it should, it's probably having clogging issues and your printer needs to have a reverse head flush. They tell you not to do this. This is like the last thing you should do. But if you're running into clogging issues, get that unclogged as soon as possible because you are gonna need to have these vibrant pieces of artwork, right? You don't want some dull, minute piece that you're sending out to customers and they're like, yeah, this is really cool, I like it, and then they never reach out again, you know what I'm saying? You always want your printer to be as best as it possibly can. Um, I haven't changed the dampers, I haven't changed the lines, uh, you know, and when I thought something was wrong with my print head, I, I thought I was gonna have to get it replaced. Reverse head flush, is gonna fix the issue. You don't have to unclog the colors because it's never really the colors. It's the white ink that's causing the problems. The, so that gamut white ink plus, that or gamut plus the white ink, there's something going on with it. There's a lot of controversy built off this white ink. You know, is it clogging, is it not? You know, and from my personal experience, I feel like it does, right? I found a way to unclog my print head. And that's what I'm going to do, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do the reverse head flush. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop talking because I like to ramble, I, just, <laughs> I, I talk, um, and we're just gonna do a reverse head flush. So we're gonna do the pre-treat, I'm gonna show you the design that I made of the white square, and then we're gonna do, and then we're gonna do uh, the reverse head flush. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so this is my Pearl Elite. I have it set up already at a 50% spray density. Okay, my ink is not running low, I just haven't changed it. Um, but I am about to spray on a Gildan Ultra Cotton kind of bronze t-shirt, it's like orange. Um, I just wanted a, a, a kind of darker color just to show you. I don't have any blacks on hand, so we're just going with the next best thing. <laughs> well, if you consider it best, right? <laughs> so we're gonna spray it at a 50%, and we're just gonna let that thing ride. It's all covered in the shirt, 50%, home. Spray. Okay, so we have the shirt. Here, bam, I thread it, that's completely optional. Okay, I just wanna to check to make sure it's recording good. And I take a brush, it's got like nylon in the brush, it's like silicone kind of. And I don't do this all the time, it's when I don't want to, you know, uh, wait for the pre-treat to kind of settle in. I kind of force it in there with the brush. Guys, my heat press is finally fixed. Oh, it's made out. The guys over at Pearl um, have been extremely awesome and they're allowing me to offer you guys a 10% off discount code, right? So go utilize that link in the description. You can go onto the website on pearlptm.com, type in primary print code when they're checking out and get that 10% off. Let's go, let's go, get over here, get over there. <laughs> okay guys, my camera is kind of directly in front of my screen. Um, it's not screen recording, so apologize for the like kind of glitchiness. Um, so I just kind of made a 
the BS gradient. Fill that up, white grade. Boom. And we're gonna save that. We can leave it as untitled artwork, it really makes it a difference. So we're gonna open that up. It's on the desktop. Bam, here. Okay, so we're printing on a darker color t-shirt. So that white underbase is still gonna be 100%. Okay, so we're gonna put dark cotton. Okay, color strength, it doesn't matter because we're not spraying color on it. <coughs> the choke is 100%, 100% underbase, 60% is the standard highlight in the TX quality mode, okay? And like I said, 45% on the color strength, it does not matter, we're not worried about that, okay? And then we're gonna move it to the center. We're gonna go here and let's do a let's do a 10 inch wide square and it's three inches down, but we want to see that color, right? So we're gonna make it five inches. Okay, so 10 by five. Settings, choose your port, which is your printer, properties. Let's bring it down that 0 0.5 inch gap. If you don't use the inch gap, sometimes the top of your image will be messed up, okay? Device options, white under base layer, okay? We're gonna go to color and hit zero because we don't need color. Like I said, we just wanna see that white come through. So it's a gradient form of white going into a really deep white. So we're gonna see how it looks before the re uh, reverse head flush and then we're gonna do another one after the reverse head flush. So let's go. Guys, remember everything always looks better on camera. So we're gonna get a we're gonna get the video of it going and then we're gonna do a up close and personal. So let's hit print. Let's start. I'm actually gonna take the camera off because I want you to see it's not really as vibrant as it should be. Do you see that? Let's finish. All right. So we're good. So you can kind of tell there is some kind of bit of fuzziness going on. Okay. Where's the gradient? for you guys, sorry about that. I just want you guys to see what I'm talking about. Okay, so now that is before the reverse head flush, okay? Now let's get ready to do the reverse head flush. At this point, you wanna leave your printer on, okay? So you wanna bring it forward using the standby option, okay? Or the front, whichever you prefer. Okay, and we're gonna get a little closer to the clips here. But before we do that, you wanna hit function up and undock your print head, okay? This is important. Move that to the center, okay? Matter of fact, let's move this shirt actually, so we know it's not gonna hit because we just printed on it. Okay, we're gonna leave it on the plot and Right, we're not changing that. Bring that forward. That should have been the first step, sorry guys. <laughs> Undock the print head, move it to the center. Okay, see what I'm saying? And then, at this point in time, you wanna go to the back of the printer and switch it off. Okay, so what I like to do at this point is grab a roll of paper towels, okay? and slide them underneath here. Things are probably gonna get a little messy. That's okay, don't be afraid of it. And you need a Phillips head screwdriver to get the two screws on each side and remove this metal plate here. Do not lose those little screws, okay? And don't worry about this. Pull it out and slide, boom. You can leave that there, here, or just move it to the side. I like to move it to the side, it's not, no big deal. It's not gonna hurt you. Okay, clip, 
your color lines, those are not important. Okay? I use my fingers and I pull up on the the damper line there. There we go. A little ink is gonna come out, don't worry. Don't be afraid of it, you see? So what I'm doing is, I'm oh, I just squeezed out some ink. I'm pulling on this part, pinching and pulling, okay? Pull up, boom. Pull up. Boom. I'll use them out a little bit. So now that you have those out, start with the first one and squeeze it out, okay? Squeeze it out. You're gonna get a little ink on your fingers. This is why I keep paper towels in hand. It's okay. See, there's already some there. Boom. Next one. Fold that one. Squeeze. Don't just like force, forcely squeeze. Okay, you don't want you don't want to forcely squeeze. Just kind of pump, you know, lightly. Boom. Boom. Okay. If you're wondering why I'm doing it, this is exactly how Omniprint showed me how to do it when I ran into the problem. Now, I don't think there's a video out there to show the average consumer how to do that, but I've done this multiple times. It's okay, I got it. Follow the rules or not. Completely up to you, this is just to help you, okay? Now, there is a syringe that comes with your printer. If you don't have that, you need to ask Omniprint to ship that to you. Sometimes they forgot or forget in some cases, okay? This is how it normally comes, right here, right? With this little attachment to it here. This piece came off of my printer. I was instructed by the tech to cut this part off of my printer. Now, I'm not gonna tell you guys to do that because I do not want you to get in trouble. So call and see what this part needs to be cut. Or if you have a little tube, you know, kind of fashion that out, get that cut. This is not important right now though. Let's go. Um, so now you're gonna take this and put it in your damper, okay? Your lines open and you're gonna suction slowly. You see, the it filled up already. And that white ink is coming through now. Okay, now pull that out. You're gonna get a little dirty, completely fine. And you have some ink in here and you wanna dispose of that. And you're gonna do that for all the other ones. So I'm gonna speed that up. I have this bottle lying around, empty super cleaner bottle. And what I do, I just take that right in there. Again, so take your tube, that tip, shove it in the dampers, to be careful though, and you suction it, just to make sure the ink is flowing through correctly. Okay, so at this point now, you have flooded your lines, okay? You are good to go. At this point, you can now turn on your printer. It is okay, I'm gonna show you what to do. So of course, when you turn on your printer, it's gonna chime back on. Okay, it's gonna move that back. Okay, and bring that back forward. Function up to undock your print head. 
be careful, you know, it's all about being careful. And then you're gonna pump up your solution, your wet cap solution, in the printer, or in the wet cap station, I'm sorry. I just wanna make sure it's a little bit clean before I start suctioning ink through there. Okay, good. One more. That's good enough. Okay, so dock your print head. that you flooded your lines is gonna leak a little bit that's okay don't be afraid of a little leakage okay guys so this is where that little tube piece comes in handy this little tube thing okay this is gonna go on top of that little tip of your hose and you guys suctioned out I mean you guys uh, just filled up your wet cap station and you want to make sure the solution is coming through your printhead. So there are these little tiny things inside those little black holes you see right there, right here. They're like little mountain top things. They like I call it mountain tops because they're white, right? <laughs> There's like a like little snow on it uh, from the white ink, and you're just gonna pull up just to make sure solution is coming through. And it looks like it is. So let me go ahead and zoom out so I can show you what I did and boom that's your wet cap solution so it's coming through and you want to do that to all those little tiny holes on the inside let me see if I can take off the camera and show you what exactly I'm talking about DJ can I use your flashlight? Right. so right there See those things with the white tips? You wanna get your nozzle tube on top of those and suction just a little bit to make sure that solution is coming through. Thank you. We're gonna hit function up. Let this move there. <laughs> okay, so now we're back in action. Get your 70% isopropyl alcohol. Dab up your napkin. Look at my back. And you're just going to make sure. Now, all you have to do is literally put them back the way you took them out. There is a silver piece in there that you want to line this part up with inside there so it seats correctly. Okay? lines then clipped and place them in the correct order it's gonna be a little messy boom so they're seated on there properly Press down on the top just to make sure they're gonna be a little wobbly. That's normal. Yeah. We're gonna put that metal piece back on. Those dampers are going nowhere. And that's it guys, you completed your first official reverse head flush if you haven't done it. If you've done it, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so now at this point we're going to prime the lines because we, you know, just pumped out some stuff. Um, things could be getting mixed up here, so we just want to um, make sure all the white lines are true white coming out and then we'll open up the colored lines right now. Alright guys, so we're running the prime right now. Got only the whites clipped open. 
okay? And then once we see the white forming in the tube here, then we're gonna open up the colors. You wanna see like a white or something really close to that. It is spraying out way better than it did before. Way faster too, that looks white to me. One, two, three, four. All colors open now, and all the white lines are open. And then once this turns solid black, once this turns solid black, you can hit power. All right guys, and that's the last process, and then you're gonna do your normal head cleans. If you are a free jet owner, or any kind of DTG owner, you know you have to do the head cleans, and then from there, we're gonna load back up the shirt which is over there still. All right, so I'll see you with the shirt going. All right guys, so now we have the shirt back on. We're gonna auto level it just for the hell of it, just to be safe. We don't ever want that print head to hit anything, so just be on the safe side and do a um, auto level. And I've already did the measurements. This is, we need to come like five and a half inches down so we don't hit that one. That initial print, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> already, already, it's a better print. I cut it pretty close there, guys. Oh, that's right. I cut it close because I didn't do the 0 0.5 inch gap, so it's like just right there. But look at that guys, you can instantly tell, instantly tell that second print is way better. Trash, gas, trash, gas, trash, gas. Instantly, instantly. I'm so pumped right now. I don't even have to do a zoom. I, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a zoom for you guys. I'm gonna have this video up for you guys as soon as possible. Cause I'm just like, look at that. Look at the difference. This is terrible. That's how you know your white ink is clogging the white lines, okay? Doing the reverse head flush takes this, I was gonna say, I was gonna cuss, I'm sorry, that's just who I am. Takes this from that to looking like that. That's great, that is a great print. This is trash. So if your stuff is looking like this, you are not going to achieve excellence. This right here is going to get you to that level, okay? If you were using the Gamut Plus White Ink, you are gonna run into this problem a lot, okay? So be weary and be careful when you do a reverse head flush. This is what you want. This is not what you want. So much better. Make sure that pressure is low. Boom. We'll have it at zero for the first initial press and then the second one will be pressed on a one. Okay. So guys, this was the initial print we did right here. Okay before this right here after this right here if you are experiencing this once again that means your line is clogged or is cloggy okay you need to do a reverse head flush so your shit can come out looking like that okay this is how you achieve the vibrant excellent prints okay some cases it's not the pre-treat, right? Over time, using the Gamut Plus, your shit is gonna go back to looking like this. Just be careful and weary. This is what you want, this is not what you want. Look, this shit is like a pale, it, it looks like this kind of pale blue. You know what I'm saying? We don't want that, we want this, right here. So do yourself a favor, follow the advice, Get this awesome prints. Make your customers happy. You know, don't ever have nobody going, hey, why isn't it as bright as it should be? 
Now you know why and what you can do to fix it to get this. X marks the fucking spot. <laughs> Okay guys, so you got to see firsthand on how to do a reverse head flush. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to drop it down in the comments down below or hit my Instagram, Primary Print Co. And uh, I mean, I provided the necessary tools, knowledge to help y'all. You need one screwdriver in a suction tube, okay? That's pretty much it. And you gotta be kind of technology inclined or friendly to, to kind of to follow the steps, you know, it's not complicated. If you are using the Gamut Plus ink, like I said, be very, very cautious. You do not want that shit messing up your $1,500 print head, okay? Um, again, shout out to Pearl for helping me provide a discount code to you guys. You can get 10% off of your, pur your purchase if you go to pearlptm.com uh, and hit uh, primary print code after checkout, you know, I got you. Sorry, I'm new to the whole, you know, you know, having a company help me out and whatnot. Um, and then if you want to support me, you can subscribe to this channel, like this video, share it, run it up, please. And then also go check out my website, primaryprint.co. Um, order some merch. I got some awesome stuff on there. If you have any custom inquiries, hit me and, you know, I can provide you some excellent, you know, some excellent prints, some, some excellent designs and whatnot. You maybe, maybe what? <laughs> and what your honey you ain't what? <laughs> but I appreciate you guys watching. Um, pay attention to all your prints, okay? Whatever you're printing. If you notice a slight difference, something is going wrong. For all you, uh, for all you regular TX users, okay? Uh, you shouldn't run into this problem a lot if you're wet capping correctly and doing all that other stuff. Um, but for the plus users using the Gamut Plus Ink, we're, we're running into that problem a lot. Uh, I hear you, um, I'm with you, I stand by you, um, but there is ways around that and achieving your excellent print quality. So, you know, do me a favor and share this video because there are a lot of people out there that might need this advice and help. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Sorry, I've been out of whack. My laptop is finally fixed and I can provide some, you know, some consistent content to you guys. Kind of. It has been a very busy month for Primary Print Co. Like I said, check out primaryprint.co, get you some custom apparel, and follow me on this channel, dude!